Hey guys, Ryan here for Bender Wins. Hope everyone's doing well today. Here with our Super Bowl pick. All right, so big day is finally here tomorrow. Um, and I have a pick for you guys. As I said um, a while back, and you know, you guys have been following the channel for a while, I said that if I didn't have a pick for the Super Bowl, I wasn't going to release one. But um, fortunately, I have a pick and what I believe to be a very strong pick in this game. So um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to jump into that. Uh, just before I do, guys, um, I talked about in uh, in today's video earlier on that I posted. Um, you know, I, I talked about you know the prop betting and the temptation to uh, you know to want to bet like you know thousands of little props here and there. And and I see it like you know um, my buddy I watched the game with last year. Like he had three full sheets, um, and he's not he's not a professional sports bet or anything. But I mean he he knows what he's doing. Um, he had three full sheets of like props and I mean I think he spent more time like looking at his sheets than he did actually watching the game you know I mean he's trying to figure out did I have over under for this person's receiving yards and you know like he I think he switched who he was cheering for like six times in the game and I mean at the end of the day like I don't know how entertaining is that I mean maybe for some of you guys like you know if you're just like chasing action that is fun um I don't know. For for me, guys, uh, I still look at this like any other day. Um, you know, you want to find value. Um, there are cheaper ways to find entertainment than betting like crazy prop bets. So I talked about it before. I'm not going to like go back through all of it, but um, I did talk about it in the last video, guys. Just you know, stay away from the 50/50 prop bets and like those 50/50 prop bets are the ones where you know it, it's a coin toss, like. Basically, you could bet on the coin toss. Don't bet on if it's going to be heads or tails, guys. Um, you know, don't don't bet on you know if the national anthem is going to be longer or shorter. Like things that you can't possibly handicap. Like I remember last year, like the one everyone was talking about, um, or a couple years ago, I think maybe it was it was a few years ago, I think. And they were talking about how many times they were going to show. Um, I think it was Brady's girlfriend or wife or whatever on on the thing. I think it was Brady. I don't remember. It was like one of the quarterbacks watched. How many times are they going to show her on TV? And it's like, how do you handicap something like that? I mean, unless your brother-in-law is the cameraman, like, it's a crazy thing to bet on, guys. So don't, like, you know, don't give away your money just because it's Super Bowl. Find bets that have value and, and go with those. All right? Um, now, further to that, guys... Uh, a way that I always tell people that you can find value in the Super Bowl um, is with new deposits. So I've been I tell people again if you're you know you're exercising in good bankroll management and you know you don't have to deposit before the Super Bowl. Wait till like you know the day before or a couple days before the Super Bowl. It's when you see all those promotions that come out. Now sports books understand that there's a lot of people that do not bet on sports that bet on the Super Bowl. Um, you know, just about anyone <laughs> who's going to watch the game is willing to throw down a few dollars on the game. So sports books spend a large amount of advertising dollars and promotion dollars in pushing deposit bonuses around Super Bowl time. So, I mean, another way you can find value, obviously, if sports books are willing to give you free money, then why wouldn't you take it, right? So. Um, have a look around guys if you're with sports books um, you know a lot of them now they have customer service numbers don't be afraid to pick up the phone um, some of them do have believe it or not um, then depending on how much you're gonna deposit but they do have um, promotions reserved as well that aren't necessarily you know blanketed all over the internet on their front page so if you call them up and say you know hey I'm looking to deposit X amount they might be willing to say yeah hey I'll um, you know we'll give you you know X percentage bonus at, 15%, a 20%, 25% reload bonus sometimes. So there is value in that, guys. The only thing I will say is um, you do have to be careful because some of the promotions that come out this time of year are, they're bogus, okay? And what I mean by bogus is you have to understand the terms and conditions, okay? And I know you guys didn't come here to hear about terms and conditions of sportsbook. You came here for a Super Bowl pick. But it is very important at the end of the day, guys, if you're depositing, especially around this time of year when all these crazy promotions are out, you have to understand like things like rollover and things like that. 
there is no sense doing a deposit and getting a bonus, like even if it looks attractive, say, you know, 20%, if there's a hundred times rollover, okay? So, you know, you should be looking for something that's reasonable, um, you know, and fair. But that being said, if you can find something, which you can, if you can find something, you know, that's reasonable um, and you can find, uh, you know, good value there, then why not take that free money, right? I mean, you know, if you're gonna, if you're gonna throw a thousand or a couple thousand dollars down in the game, you know, why not have an extra $500 there? Like, you know, you know what I mean, guys? So there's a lot of value there, guys. Um, you know, so again, I am going to get into uh, into today's pick. Um, I just have one pick for you guys in the Super Bowl, but it's a two-unit play. Um, very, very strong. Um, anyways, so I'm going to get into that, guys. Um, but just, uh, you know, be careful with your prop bets. I talked about in the last video. Careful with your prop bets. And... Also, you know, look for value in terms of if you're looking deposits, uh, you know, you can get some good value there, but make sure you read the terms and conditions, guys. Spend the four minutes. I can't tell you how many times I've had people like say, you know, I ask them, why are you with that site? And they're saying, oh, I'm just trying to grind out so I can like, you know, withdraw the money because I had a 50 times rollover. And it's like, well, Jesus, like, again, take the two or three minutes, guys, read the terms and conditions before you make those deposits, but you can definitely find value in doing that. So anyways, guys, without further ado, here we have the picks for the, the Super Bowl. All right, guys, so let's dive into this. Really, really exciting matchup. Um, I know in my video I posted earlier today, uh, I was talking again, you know, about props. So um, have a thought guys, if we can get this video to a hundred likes, I will release my best prop plays for tomorrow as well in a separate video. So um, I know it's a pretty tall order guys, but if we, I've never had a video at a hundred likes. So if we can get to a hundred likes today, um, I'll release my best prop bets for the Super Bowl tomorrow. All right. Um, all right guys. So. Really, really cool matchup. I'm mean, really, really excited about this game, guys. San Fran against Kansas City. Um, it's from a sports betting perspective, guys. Um, this is a really, really good matchup because um, it's given us value on one side. So let's talk about really quickly leading up to this game, guys. Kansas City um, has been lighting it up offensively. They've been playing well above their pay grade in the last couple of games in terms of their offensive ability. And the public has taken notice of that. So anytime in the NFL where you have a team that generates massive offense on back-to-back -back games, especially in the playoffs, um, it typically creates value on the other side, okay? So going into this, um, I think like my initial thought was, you know, I'm thinking there's probably going to be some value on San Francisco, but then I, I dive into this game and I really start to look at the actual matchup itself. So from, again, I mentioned from a sports betting perspective, guys, you can't really get much better of a matchup than this. Um, you have a team that is a favorite in Kansas City. They're favored by a point and a half. Um, but San Fran matches up really well against them. And I'm going to tell you guys how. So basically, if you had to find an area where Kansas City struggled this year, it's been against the run game. Now, yes, they managed to pull it together against Tennessee, but they had to stack the line. And, and Tennessee just wasn't able to move the ball in the air as much as they probably should have been able to do with Kansas City stacking the line and stopping the run. But San Fran... Uh, not only does San Fran have the second best um, rushing offense in the league, but it's been proven time and time again that if teams sell out to stop that run, they can go to play action. Then they can just pass the ball outright and beat teams that way. So Kansas City, and I think a lot of people overlook this, Kansas City really struggled this year to stop the run. And now they have to face a team in San Francisco who's number two overall in the league in rushing. Um, I actually give, because of this fact, I actually give a slight edge offensively to San Francisco in this game because you have a team in Kansas City that is pretty well a one-dimensional team in terms of, yes, they can put up unbelievable amounts of offense with their passing game, but 
Who do they have to go up against now for their passing game? They have to go up against the number one ranked pass defense in the entire NFL. A pass defense that is so dominant that I'm willing to say that they're probably the best pass um, defense maybe in the last 10 years. Uh, they have an unbelievable um, D-line that's going to get a ton of pressure on Mahomes in this game. So um, again, guys, this is a, it's, it's an interesting dynamic on both sides of the game, but I actually give the edge in both sides to San Francisco. There's no question San Francisco has the better defense of the two teams. But just looking at how the two teams match up in this game, Kansas City is going to have to beat the number one ranked pass defense in the league. Where San Francisco, all they have to do is run against the 26th worst. And if, if Kansas City thinks that they can do the same thing they did against Tennessee, which is stack that line and you know, force them to throw. Well, San Francisco will be more than happy to do that. When, when you're looking at a lot of open field, if they're gonna send corner blitzes and safety blitzes and, and send linebackers, um, it's gonna open up a lot of receivers. And I look for San Francisco in this game, guys, to be able to get the job done. The other thing I really like about this game, and if you guys know me, you know I like contrarian plays. It's getting 43% of the bets on San Fran and 44% of the money. So if San Fran covers in this game, Vegas wins. Obviously we like that, right? So guys, this is going to be a two unit play. We're gonna take two unit play on San Francisco plus one and a half in this game, all right? So San Francisco plus one and a half for two units. Um, I give the edge on both sides of the ball, defensively and offensively. And I know that's crazy. You guys say, how can you say like San Fran, you know, when you look at what Mahomes just did, both sides of the ball because of this matchup, guys, San Fran is the better team. All right, guys, so that's it for today. Um, really enjoy the game. Have fun. Um, only comes once a year. It's like Christmas for me, right? Only comes around once a year. Um, but anyways, guys, uh, really excited. Enjoy the game. Um, be safe if you're going out. Don't drink and drive. And uh, have a great day. And as always, have a very lucky day.